everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to my first vlog please bear in mind this is my first one so do apologize uh, again I've done this mistake before do forgive me if there are some weird things happening but I just wanted to share a bit more about my life um, because most people are still have to sit at home thankfully I'm vaccinated so I still get to travel a bit and uh, well Norway is such a big part of my life because I've been coming here for three years now so I wanted to take you here with me again and make this vlog about my day and there's some wind okay it's gonna make this a little worse anyway my day as a skating coach in Norway I have um, four days left here yeah and uh, today was the longest day <laughs> today was the longest day I've ever worked in my whole skating career I skated 11 hours, which is nuts. For me, it's nuts. I know there are some other coaches that probably work even more, but to me, that's crazy. My legs are sore. So now I'm gonna finish this, this talk. I'm gonna show you what I've been up to, and I'll hopefully be back with another vlog from a new destination with more interesting stuff. And now I'm gonna take my tired legs back home, go to sleep, and rest well so I can carry this on for another 20 hours of work and then I'm done I'm flying home ciao normally I fly from Tallinn or Belgium to Stavanger that's um, at the fjords in Norway it's a gorgeous beautiful place and it's normally two flights um, with like a layover in Oslo or Copenhagen and it's just a very like nature Nature, full of nature, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. My day starts at six in the morning. Ugh, so early, but it's summer, so I'm like really easy to wake up in the morning. And the first thing I do is normally just get the foods ready for the day. Um, since it's such a busy day, I have literally like 10 minute breaks or something i just make a smoothie with like berries um banana something something simple and i cut up vegetables avocado carrots apple something like that just to snack all day because they do bring me like a sandwich which i can have for lunch so all this all this other stuff is just for like a um, snack in between the sessions this has been actually like a must for me for the past many many years already uh, if you followed me for a while you know that i always start my days with stretches of course there are days that i miss them but especially when i'm in a camp and i have to be moving all day long i really want to start my day by already getting my body moving so that um, once i get to the ice i won't be waking up so i just do like very simple yoga movements um, work on my breathing uh, definitely stretch my legs out and and yeah just uh, massage my feet a little bit because with the skates the uh, feet tend to get very sore either you get um, blisters anyway it's really important that you massage through your legs and just like make sure all your body is warmed up for the day after that I actually now it's like probably six 30 or 40 and I have to catch up on my work because like I said I have 11 hours today so I have absolutely no time to work so this is the only time I get to work I catch up on emails I do the posts that I have to do I check all the orders online so I just go over everything that had to be done before I get to the rink uh, once I'm at the rink I normally just if it's a morning session we usually actually do choreo which means that I make like a little piece of dance uh, to a certain music and then I try to teach it to the students. It doesn't actually take me, like I consider myself quite talented in choreo because it doesn't take me more than 10 minutes to come up with like a 30 second choreo for everyone. And um, yeah, it just uh, depends if you have a good music. This time I chose actually Dua Lipa New Rules. So once I'm on the ice, I'm going to just go over it in my head on the ice. And when the students come, I'm going to teach it to them. We're going to go over some steps and and see how it goes. All right, here is my first group. They are um, recreational and uh, beginner skaters. 
And first I put them in lines, I make sure everyone is in their place, and I start teaching them a short choreo. Um, this is actually like a lot of skaters really enjoy these type of classes because it's very creative and it keeps you like it takes your mind off of the fact that you're doing a really hard sport and you have like four other sessions that day. Fun to start the day with a fun dance class. Um, and these are my elite students. So they're gonna show you the piece that we just did. And here's again the elite group. They uh, here they are mixed with another group, which is um, where they do that same choreo. And now we're gonna start learning a new one, a completely different style, a completely new one. And and this was again something I just prepared that same morning. Um, so let's see how they do it. And first, it normally takes about 15 minutes to start teaching the, it to them. Because, um, I mean, they're using new music, they don't know like what I'm about to do. So, yeah, it's usually like one session takes one, one choreo. Like coaching these camps, um, I really enjoy doing them because normally kids, uh, especially in the summer, kids don't have any other plans. So maybe like something in the evening with their friends, but they come on the ice, they're like excited to be there because they know it's a camp. So they always do something new and different. Um, and that's also why I prefer working in camps because I get to do the creative stuff that maybe during the season you don't really have time for because there's like a competition every weekend and you have to train your your own program uh so yeah it's it's always like fun for me to be at camps like kids seem more enthusiastic about learning new things
Well, that was an abrupt uh, change of scenery. Um, but I actually don't have more to show from my sessions because my phone died uh, because of the cold. So the battery went quite quickly. But actually there's like, I wish someone would film me during trainings. Then you could see it closer and you could see what I explained. But, uh, but basically that is what I did. All of 10 sessions, 10, 11 sessions um, on Wednesday and and once I got home, I was just tired, super tired. So I ate a bit. And, and the only thing I am forcing myself is to read 10 pages because I'm going on a wellness um, month. So, and I live by the fjord, so it's super beautiful. I've been very lucky with the weather. So I just go down there. I read 10 pages, <sighs> slowly, slowly walk back home. And yeah, that's pretty much it of my day. I don't have much energy for any anything else because I start already at six. I work in the morning and and yeah, the days go really quickly, so that's good as well. So it doesn't, it's not a like a like the days are dragging. They're not at all. Thank you all for watching. I'm happy that there's still so many of you here. There's a kid crying. I hope it doesn't bother you. Please subscribe, like, comment on my videos. I love to interact with you. I'm always, I try to be as active as possible. And do follow me on my social media if you like these videos. I hope to introduce you more of the skating world. That was a really little scooter going. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you're all enjoying the last month of the summer and you will have a wonderful week, rest of the week. Bye. Mm-hmm.